Right now I'm headed to the self-defense program at Columbus State. Um, they've visited Nationwide Children's Hospital, the transport department, several times and um, here on campus to check it out. Hi, I'm Sarah Foster. Um, I'm a nurse at Nationwide Children's Hospital. My husband um, helps to run the self-defense program. So they've come to the transport team, which is where I work, to our department for the last two years. Every year there's a week to celebrate Nurses Week, Respiratory Therapist, and uh, Emergency Service. So last year they came for all three. This year they've come for two of those weeks. October they'll be back again. Um, we actually just relocated to a new building downtown at the corner of 18th and I don't know, like Mooberry, it's not a great area. So it's been really good for the people I work with, learning just different techniques, mostly just being aware of their surroundings and paying attention to what's going on. Everybody's been really happy learning from Sean and Jay and Devin, and um, I'm excited for them to come back again. I would say to anyone apprehensive um, about starting self-defense, either find a friend and bring them with you so that you can be apprehensive together and you can both be new and you won't feel so awkward working with someone you don't know in an uncomfortable position, or try and come watch a class first, see what it's gonna be like so you know what to expect. It definitely took me three solid tries at jujitsu before I was really comfortable with any of it, and um, you just have to accept that it's uncomfortable, know it's gonna happen, and know that in the end it's gonna benefit you um, to be able to learn these techniques. Hi, my name is Emma Newell, and I've been a part of the Columbus State Self-Defense Program for one year, and I absolutely love it. Um, as you can tell, I'm a green shirt. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> so I actually got involved in the Self-Defense Program when I was taking summer classes here at Columbus State, and I noticed the signs hanging up around campus, and I thought that it was a great way to get involved and to stay active. This all really hit home to me last summer when I was working at the Ohio State Fair. It was late at night and I had gotten creepy vibes from my boss um, throughout the day and I noticed that he had sent everyone home except for me. And something that we talk a lot about here within the program is situational awareness. And so I was very aware of what was going on and what kind of situation that I was in, so my guard was really up. Um, so I was putting things away and he came up behind me and he grabbed my hips. And I, I just, you know, was screaming and using my voice to um, get him off of me. And I went to go and do a hip toss like we learn in the program. Um, but luckily he backed up before I needed to do that. And so I really attribute a lot of the empowerment that I felt in that situation and the confidence that I had in that uncomfortable situation to the program because, you know, you can't, you have to practice the way that it would happen in real life. And so I think that we do a lot of really good um, situational practice uh, within the program. This program is one of the most diverse and inclusive programs that I've ever been a part of. It's really a MAT family. We support each other. There are people of all shapes, sizes, and abilities on the mats. And so I really encourage you to come out and give it a try. We have dogs. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> have an escapee. So um, we were looking to do a self-defense program initially just for fun to have people feeling really good about themselves and then we were starting to have some problems with just the neighborhood where our old office was in the short north so we have just been continuing to ask the CSCC team back because our team loves them. They love dogs, which you have to love dogs to be one of us. It's really great for making our employees feel like they're safe, they have the skills, they're confident, and we just love having you guys. And I try to attend all the classes just to see what they're doing, and um, every class I feel like I've gotten a little better, but I wish I could go more. 
And we really try to push to our employees that these are free classes. You don't have to be a Columbus State student, and we would love for them to come. And uh, every time, I feel like I just get a little better. Like, I'll remember to not use my phone when I'm leaving from work. I'll just, like, walk taller, look like, don't mess with me. There's just really important things. Like, even if you don't feel like you can flip a guy that's a foot and a half taller than you, I at least know that I can have the skills, and I remember to, like, just have the composure that I should have to make me look like I don't want people to mess with me. Hi, uh, I'm Liberty. I work here at Bark. I've been here for about eight months. I've gotten to go to one of the self-defense training sessions that they've had in our older office. The biggest thing I got from the self-defense lesson was having confidence um, and like just being out in public and walking around having like an air of being confident and being like if you mess with me, I'm not afraid to make a scene. I'm not afraid to stand up for myself and my rights as a human being. We're kind of in the middle of the city. Um, I live downtown and I walk everywhere. Um, so it's, it's not the safest place. And the class definitely helps you feel a little more confident. And as you're walking around, and especially as a woman, that's really important to feel like you can do what you want to do without having to have someone there to protect you. I walk everywhere. Um, I work at a bar and I sometimes walk home by myself at two o'clock in the morning. And having the, the strength and the confidence to be able to do that and not feel like I'm dependent on other people to be able to get around safely, it's nice and it's empowering. Hi, my name is Kaylin. I work at BARC. Um, I found out about the Columbus State Self-Defense Program through BARC. Our BARC Health Coordinator set up a self-defense course for us all to take um, just to, you know, ease any worries about traveling back to our parking garage um, that used to be a few blocks away especially since some of us would work late until midnight um, so it was really awesome to have um, people come to us and come to our office in the first place introduce us to self-defense versus us going to a class that we know nothing about um, and coming to our own safe space and teaching us how we can protect ourselves so it was pretty awesome um, physically being able to perform the acts they taught us. Um, they really walked us through step by step. I would recommend it to other workplaces to bring them into their office. I've been here for about a year and a half. I do customer experience for Bark as well as um, some content creation through like copywriting, um, which I do appreciate the Bark environment. They're always uh, facilitating a positive environment and also gives us opportunities to do things like um, seminars. I recently took one. I usually end up skipping them because I don't really have time within my work schedule or like within my personal life to go. But luckily there was one that was set up and during the work days that I got to take advantage of. And I've been really meaning to do a self-defense course for a very long time uh, with the climate, the way it is now, like being alone walking is like one of the most terrifying things anyone can do, like especially being a young woman working near downtown. So being able to take advantage of that and like take some tools of the trade with me personally. So uh, when I walk around, usually at night, I was a very bad habit of looking at my phone um, because it's like what you naturally do at the end of the workday and then you're also trying to get home. Cruel mix of multitasking can really just make for an unsafe environment. So I've learned to like be more aware of that. I've learned I can totally flip someone and that's really awesome because I didn't know that would be something I could do. Um, and I've also taken into account like how to like properly use my elbow and like what angle to have it at. So it's been nice to be able to learn that and go forward making smarter choices um, around me. And I plan on taking more of the classes. I'm really excited to um, get involved as summer rolls around. Hi, my name's Elena. I work for BarkBox. I've been working here for a little over a year in March. And I've attended uh, one seminar with the Columbus State Self-Defense Program. I really enjoyed being able to just like learn how to flip somebody. That was a lot of fun. <laughs> it's really important to learn self-defense, especially since we are in Franklinton. Um, my dad grew up actually just a few blocks that way. Um, it's better than it was when I was little, um, but it's still not the best part of town. So <laughs> it's great to be able to make sure that if God forbid something happens, you have a little extra, well, a little extra defense behind you.